Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good and truly the Lord's mercy. It endures until the end. Want to make time to praise God for a passage of scripture found in the book of Psalms, the 145th division, verses 6 through 8. The Bible says, men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. I came to declare to you today that God is good. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, I pray that you would be magnified and glorified in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. I praise God today for the mighty things that he has done. I praise God for he created the earth and everything that is in it. I praise God for the mighty act that he did when he overshadowed Mary and she carried the Savior Jesus in her womb hallelujah and nine months later he was born and lo and behold deity in human flesh Emmanuel God with us hallelujah for that awesome mighty work that God did I give him praise I praise God for forgiveness of sin I praise God for he is a great God and I praise him because he looks beyond our faults and he see our needs hallelujah and even to the point when he was looking even to the point hallelujah that he would give his only begotten son for that I give him praise nobody could redeem us but Jesus for that I give him praise no one hallelujah could give their life but him no one was without spot hallelujah or blemish no one was without sin except the man Christ Jesus hallelujah who gave his life for us for that I give God praise. Hallelujah. I praise him today because he's merciful. I praise God today because he's holy. I praise God today because he is righteous. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts and I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our God. I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of 
your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.